Hey, how y'all doing, man? Hopefully y'all good. <laughs> Me just got my test today. <laughs> So hopefully that pans out. Hey, first things first, y'all new to the channel, you haven't already, don't subscribe. Today, we're trying reverse psychology. Let's see how that works. Second thing I wanna mention, me and Lo, we got a new channel, Playback. All our competitive videos. First video is about to be a basketball 1v1. Definitely gotta hit the stoop. I'm a competitive ass guy. Y'all about to see here in this video how competitive I am, cause it's scary. So all those types of videos I do with Low on that channel. Top link in the description. We're trying to aim to hit 50,000 subscribers. We're at like 30 something right now, so you can help us get there. Put on them noties, man, it won't hurt ya. And uh, okay, let's move on from that. Hey, okay, so at the beginning of the month, I told you guys that, hold on, let me just adjust this microphone. Beginning of the month, I told y'all that I wanted to engage in a competition with Phantom. Well, it could have been with anybody, but Phantom was also trying to lose weight, so it panned out. In this competition here, whoever loses the most weight, the winner gets to decide where in America the loser has to stay for 24 hours, and I'm gonna choose the worst imaginable place. I've been looking for suggestions just because I know how confident I am that I'm gonna win. And to the point where it's so scary. Cause, you know, I've went my whole life, I've had weight troubles basically my entire life, you know what I'm saying? And basically my whole life, I tell myself like, I should do this for me. That's how I should lose weight because it's gonna be great for me. And you can list all the benefits. You're gonna feel better, you're gonna be healthier. You're gonna just have more energy throughout the day. The list goes on and on. We know what these benefits are, right? But none of those were enough to get me to do it. You know what was enough, guys? Creating it into a competition. Like when NBA 2K21 current gen came out, I told Cole, whoever was the first person to not upload has to do a punishment. I made it into a competition and I went like 18 days straight. It's crazy for me. I don't do 18 days straight. So I just used that same logic here and I made it into a competition with Phantom. Now I'm about to show y'all this DEXA scan I took uh, in December 2nd or December 4th at the beginning of the month, right? And where I am now in the middle of the month and where I think I'm about to be at the end of the month, just so you guys get an idea of like, not only do I think I'm going to beat Phantom or do I know it to be specific, but I'm actively looking to destroy him, to absolutely and positively destroy him. So what basically happens, I went to this place and like this machine will scan your entire body and it'll just get an idea of like your body composition. Ideally, you do that analysis every few months or so just so you get an idea of like how what your body's change is looking like. And it can measure specifically like how much fat you have on your leg, your bone mass, all the itty bitty technical details, right? And then I also did some like metabolism test, which is a whole nother thing just to see what my how much calories my body burns by default, assuming I have zero activity on in the day. And it was around like 2100, it was about average. Okay, cool, so this is what my DEXA scan looked like. It looks different than my scale, okay? And I'll say for a lot of different reasons. One, at the beginning of the month, I weighed in at 228.8 pounds. I was expecting that, not gonna lie. Wasn't eating good throughout November, so I kinda just was all over the place with it. But I was more surprised that my body fat was 31.3%, because that's like four or five percent higher than my scale at home says. And, and I almost came in expecting the body fat to be higher with this scan because it's gonna be more accurate, but at the same time, I wasn't expecting it to be in the 30s. So that's pretty high for me. So I just really wanted to know like where I'm at right now, is this healthy? Obviously I'm gonna try and lose more weight and be in better shape, so I wanna get even healthier. So it says over here I have about 70 pounds of fat. So if I wanted to be at 0% body fat, and be miserable, I have to lose 70 pounds. I'm not gonna do that. I think I look a little malnourished and uh, I don't like the way I look when I'm skinny, so I'm gonna lose maybe like 30, 40 pounds. Also, I wanna point out that I probably have around 10 or 12 pounds of loose skin after all of this, so I already, I'm already starting to see some of it. I'm not really bothered by loose skin. I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. If I can get surgery and there's no like side effects, I'm just gonna get it cut off because if that's a problem that money can solve and it won't be any side-term, long-term effects due to it, I'm gonna just do that. But I'm not so worried about the loose skin part of this, but there will be a decent amount of that as well. It even tells you like the total fat percentage you have in your arms compared to your legs, compared to your trunk, which isn't your ass, by the way. He told me it's like this part of your body. <laughs> I thought your trunk was your ass, but he specified that wasn't the case. He's also explaining to me that when you gain weight, the worst area to gain weight is in like your stomach region and that visceral fat usually makes it way more likely to, for you to have some future health consequences especially as you age. And I'm barely in the ideal and healthy category. So if I just stayed where I was and I was comfortable, he said you would be healthy, but ideally you do wanna help get that down so you're more fit and you're in better shape. So that was kind of uh, cool, you know what I'm saying? Just to be told that I wasn't morbidly obese 
and bound to deal with future health consequences as a result of my lack of discipline when it came to eating healthy food, as uh, I probably would have heard plenty of times in the past. And probably the most fascinating part for me was this little bone density graph. Now look, this is what he told me. The lighter oranges is your fat. The darker oranges is what your body would look like if there was no fat. And it just looks entirely different. So I still have a ways to go. And I'm actively trying to get there. And I'll tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, because I've been weighing in on my scale. And I'm, I'm not trusting the body fat percentage on my scale no more, but I still trust the weight. Because I was 222, I weighed myself before I went out to get this scan. And then I was 222 at the spot. So I think the, the scale is accurate regardless. So I told you guys in the initial video at the beginning of the month that I was going to do a seven day water fast and then eat every other day and do keto. Now I'm going to tell you guys off rip, I only followed some of that, mainly because it's hard. <laughs> that was a very aggressive way to lose weight. And I probably could have done it, but the thing is, is December is also a really busy month for me. And when you do water fast, ideally you wanna be relaxed. You don't wanna be doing nothing too hectic. So based off the, I heard you, man. <laughs> it's just overexposed. Okay. The ISO is not auto, so it's not gonna adjust. They can't see that. They can't see that, we'll leave. I was hoping I did it. Yeah, I think so. Congrats. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. So look, what I ended up actually doing because the seven day water fast, I can't do considering I'm doing things. December is my busiest month of the year and I'm in the middle of a channel launch, top link in the description. So busy, really busy. I'm doing things all the time. a &P videos are physical. Some of the playback videos are physical. So I can't have no energy. So that being said, I just changed up my plan. I told myself I would eat every other day and that's all guys. That's all, that's my plan, alternate day fasting. Now, around the 48 hour mark is when I get really, really tired and lightheaded, unless I'm drinking a lot of water and electrolytes as you should be, but sometimes I be forgetting and the electrolytes don't taste good, so it's not really an incentive for me to eat. Besides the point, I've been eating every other day. I haven't stuck to keto or carnivore, I'm just eating whatever, it includes carbs, it doesn't include carbs. I try and stray away from too many carbs and I definitely was juking sugar. I most definitely wasn't doing no sugar. So that being said, now I skate, I weighed in about like 222.8 here on this DEXA scan. Right now, I'm 207.2. Now you could attribute maybe like eight, 10 pounds of that to water weight, but also I'm losing fat. And I can tell cause you can kind of see it around like my neck area and my chin area and throughout my body. Y'all don't see my full body all the time, so you can't tell. But when I look at myself in the mirror, I most definitely can tell. So just doing some quick analysis here. That's about 15 pounds in about like 13 days. And I'm pretty confident I can finish the month at like 20, 21 pounds if I continue to stick to every other day. Confident I could do that. I'm actually kind of hoping I get to 24, 25, but that's really ambitious and that's probably unlikely to happen considering there's no more water weight to lose. I'm most likely the, f you got how the it works. Now compare that really quick. My conservative estimation that by the end of the month, I'll be down 21 pounds from the beginning of the month to whatever Phantom has planned. Phantom will literally at this point need some kind of like liposuction surgery to win this competition. There's just no other way he's gonna do it. And so what does that say about me really quickly? Because I'm not gonna lie to you, this every other day stuff, I enjoy eating so much, it's tough. Cause food is so delicious, I'm thinking about it all the time. I just wanna be, I'm not hungry, but I just wanna eat all the time. But just knowing that I wanna compete against Phantom and I know I'm gonna win, but I still wanna just destroy him. My pursuit isn't just to win, it's to absolutely obliterate him from the face of this earth. That actually inspires me so much to want to continue to lose weight. And what's even more exciting is I think by the end of the month, I'm finally going to be under 200 pounds, which will be the first time in like three years I can say that. So I'm like, yeah, you mean tell me I can step on the scale and it's going to say like 190 something? Oh, oh man, hold the f on, bro. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel better, man. Just like... Getting up isn't so hard no more. Just getting off your bed isn't so hard no more. Getting up and going to the gym is not so hard no more. I'm trying to like, throughout this aggressive weight loss strategy, I'm not I'm trying to not to lose too much muscle. Not that I'm fucking jacked and I have a ton of it anyway, but the lean muscle, I don't wanna lose too much of it. And I know that as you lose weight and as you get lower and lower in body fat percentage, it's gonna be harder and harder to lose weight. True. I think I could actively get to around like 15% body fat. That would be cool for me. I'd be happy there. So I'm gonna head back to the spot in like January 1st or 2nd or whenever they open up because it's New Year's and I'm gonna get another DEXA scan and I'm gonna see how my body composition has changed and that's gonna determine who wins this competition here. And the most hilarious part about this is I'm, I'm actually eating whatever I want too. I'm just doing it every other day. 
And food tastes so much better when you don't eat for 48 hours. So not only does the food taste incredible, but I'm eating whatever I want and losing a lot of weight while I'm doing it. And I've been able to balance all of that with probably the busiest month of my life. I'm in the middle of doing so many things at once, you guys wouldn't believe. So I'm happy with all of that. I'm actually really happy with all that. So I know all the time when people see me after not seeing me for a while, whether it's on YouTube or in real life, people always ask the one question, like, how did you do it? I just, yo, the real answer to that question is I just learned how I operate, like what works for me like you get you might get hungry I don't feel hunger so as long as I could battle my desire to eat because food is so delicious and the fact that food is so fun I'm starting to not eat when I'm bored I'm starting to eat when I need to and there's a big difference there once you learn how your body operates and how what makes you tick and how do you get motivated? I get gassed by competition. So I'll cr continue to create competitions like this one I'm doing right here to get me to where I wanna go. I'm just gamifying the whole system in a way that makes it fun. So it's not gonna be the same thing, bro. You might not do alternate day fasting. That's pretty extreme. You might not do keto or carnivore, although that works for me. You might just do regular clean eating, eat three, four times a day. I'm not sure, guys. I can't tell you how your body works. But I do know that just talking about this stuff out loud is dope because a lot of people don't. And there's nothing against that, but it is nice to hear, at least for me, it was nice to hear as I've been losing weight, stories of other people. It's like, wow, okay, so you did it that way and this was the way you did it and this inspired you to do it. I was just watching a video on YouTube. Let me pull it up. And it was, yeah, it was off Men's Health. And it was Action Bronson. I haven't seen him in a while, but apparently he lost 130 pounds, guys. And on top of that, now he's built, right? I've been kind of focusing on weight loss. And then I was like, I'll build muscle later. But he's been doing it as he's been losing weight. And he looks incredible here in this photo. Take a look at this clip here. This is Action Bronson. Obviously, he before. How much is that? Can we do some quick investigative analysis here? 12 inches plus 18 inches. This 33 goddamn inch box jump right there, man. Impressive. Action Bronson's the guy who for a long time has been like of the mindset that like, all right, let's just have fun. Like who cares about consequences? Let's have fun and enjoy this life thing. And to see him kind of just be this disciplined. And as you watch the workouts throughout the video, it's actually truly impressive. And I love hearing stories like that. That's why I hop on here. I do videos like this so people can hear my sh**. And then hopefully just one of you guys will take, take your health seriously as a result of this video. Plus, even for my own sake, it's really dope to just document it because I just look back at some of the photos. Like, you know how your iPhone be giving you memories from like a year ago? And I'd be like, oh my God. Like, I, sh I was showing Davis a memory my iPhone gave me from a year ago. Mind blown at how different I looked. And through all of it, I was happy, but... I was disappointed in, in this one area of my life and I let it get to that point. Cause it's really just about momentum. I swear the second you start to build momentum in a positive direction, it becomes so much easier. That first like few weeks of just making progress is so challenging to start on. And you convince yourself in 15 million different ways why it's not worth it or how you'll do it later. The reality is it is worth it and you might never do it if you don't just do it right now. So it's everybody operates differently and you, when you hear so many people talk about it, it's like, man, you just see that's incredible what he was able to do for himself. And I'm gonna keep this pinned and I'm gonna continue to update it. But even this post here I did on my Twitter from how it started to how it's going. Like this was me guys like in last September. About 15 months ago, this is what I look like. Couldn't run. Sweated. I was sweating bullets. Like right now, this room is really hot. It's 85 degrees. I'm not sweating yet. If I was in here for maybe an hour more, I'd probably start sweating. But I'll be bullets. I mean, I'd be drenched right now if I was this same person. Now this same person, brilliant, creative, made dope videos too, right? But his health wasn't in order, man, and I didn't really want to deal with permanent long-term effects of reckless decisions right now. Like when I was 35, I didn't want to find out I got diabetes now, and I got to deal with it for the rest of my life because I was dumb in my 20s. I didn't want that. And then this is me now. Actually, this was actually 20 pounds ago. No, this was about 15 pounds ago, so I look even better now. And and that's cool, and I guess the internet loves that type of stuff, because uh, <laughs> they just be f***ing spamming likes and retweets on it. So that's kind of where I'm at. That's the midway point of December here, and I do not want to hear about how I should take it slow, guys. I, I, I can't, I don't even know how to do that. So I'll just deal with the consequences of not doing that um, at a later date. But I'm enjoying it for what it's worth, and I feel a lot better, and I feel like it's positive progress. So there's that. Hey, Phantom, I just need you to know that it's going to be like a 15 to 20 pound disparity between what you do and what I do. And I want you to know that's because when I set my mind to beating you in anything, I'm going to accomplish it all the time. There's no way you're going to win. There's just a 0% chance. And I also need you to know that 
I'm gonna find an insane amount of entertainment in sending you to a very undesirable or very boring or very painful part of this country. And you're not gonna have fun. And you're gonna have to bring a camera and show everybody how little fun you're having. And I'm gonna have a lot of joy when I watch that back. And so I'm really just doing this for that. Uh, the positive health implications of all of this is just icing on the cake. Hey, if you guys are new to the channel, man, make sure to drop a like. Top link in the description, playback. Me and Lo have a group channel now. Subscribe to that. Appreciate all the support y'all been showing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.